Welcome everybody to another show. A Donkey Ollie adventure. We're going to roll. Well, it's gonna be a close one with lots of thrills. We got lessons to learn. Spine tingling. Hi, friends. Well, a lot has happened since Ali, Jehu, and Rupert returned from Egypt with the missing Israeli children. Jehu has settled down with his wife Alandra at his own farm with Ali. Every night, supplies have been missing from farms all over the land, and Ali has left his brothers to help Jehu find the scoundrel who's been stealing these supplies. Ali, Ali, where are you? Over here. Look, this is where the bandits have been sneaking in. But I'll bet it isn't who you think it is. What do you mean? Who is it? Look, hoof prints in the dirt. Only they look a lot bigger than mine. You mean the bandits are animals? Come on, Ollie. Even animals are better than to steal. Well, let's go get Rupert and lay a trap. We'll have to catch these varmints right in the act. Ollie goes off into the hills surrounding the farm, looking for Rupert. Rupert! Rupert, where are you? Rupert, where are you? Rupert, Rupert, over here. I heard you all the way on the other side of the valley. Boy, can your voice echo. I'm washed. It's not easy flying against the wind, you know. Say, We've had a problem with thieves. Jehu wants to know if you could spend the night and keep a lookout. Maybe we could find out who's been stealing the food and supplies from our barn. Sure! Do you mind if I eat over at your place? All that flying made me hungry! Not at all! Hop on, I'll take you over there. Young fellow, are you sure when you pulled that heist the other night you swept up all your tracks with your tail? I did just like you showed me, Sinbad. Well, someone has grown careless. Was it you, Whipper? Mm -hmm. Well, it better not be, or there'll be a price on your head. What about those three donkeys from Farmer John's farm? They wanted to join up with us. Isa, Jeremy, and Esau? I don't know if they could really be trusted. They lived with their humans quite a while. Miles away, Jeremy, Isa, and Esau talk about running off with a herd of outlaw donkeys. Well, I for one am tired of eating straw and doing all this work for nothing. But Uncle John has been good to us. Look, we even got our own stable. That's just to keep us fresh for more free labor. I say we ditch this place and join up with the gang. We'd be free and do what we want. They don't even work. All they do is steal what they need. And you know what happens to anyone who steals? What about us? Farmer John's stealing from us. We work every day for five years, and what have we got? Well, maybe you are right. He said we'd all have to go through initiation to see if we were worthy to join their gang. Well, it can't be too bad. What do you think he'd want us to do? Sinbad wants to know if you fellows are coming with us. Yes, but he said something about an initiation? What kind of an initiation? You have to prove you'll be more loyal to us than to your own family. We need you to bring us three bags of food from your barn. You want us to steal from Farmer John? It's not stealing. He owes us a lot more than that. Just look at his payback time. Sure, we'll do it. Look, you want to be free? You're either in or out. Let's go. 
Well, maybe you are right. Don't worry, Whipper. We'll be there. We'll talk Esau into it. Good. I'll tell you one thing. Ollie wouldn't like it one bit. Yeah, but Ollie's already free. It's nothing for him. Think about it. That night, Farmer John falls fast asleep and doesn't even notice that the three donkeys are leaving his farm, carrying the three full bags of grain, which he was going to use on his spring planting. Uh, hump -a -dup -a -dup -a -dup -a -dup. Oh! My grain! My donkeys! Hmm? Hmm. Well, off to see Jehu and Abner. As Farmer John and his wife get close to Jehu's house... Listen! They can hear the merriment and frolicking as Elizabeth and Abner celebrate the birth of Micah, their third child. Another great child is born today! Father, welcome. It's great to see you. And you too, Mom. Welcome, Father. Children, it's so good to see all of you. And you, Wally. I'm so sorry. I have bad news. It can't be all that bad, is it? I saw Esau and Jeremy left and took all of my seeds with them. That doesn't sound like Ollie's brothers. Are you sure? My brothers stole all your seeds for planting? It just doesn't seem possible, especially after all you've done for them. I never told them this was going to be my last year for farming. I was going to build them a big running area full of grass where the farm was. Just when you think you know your friends, they let you down. Oh. They left without so much as a trace. Everything is gone. Well, they've crossed over the line of right and wrong. It's time to put a price on their head and bring them in. I know what they did is wrong. I'm not making any excuses for them. But maybe if I could find them, I could talk them into turning themselves in. I don't want to see them dead. Ollie, I'll go with you. I'm sure we can find them if we look together. If we look together, if we join our minds, we can change forever for those who are. We can. 
can climb the stars with God's own holy soul. If we look together, I think we'll find. If we look together, I think we'll find a way. If we look together, I think. Okay, we will give you guys one week to bring them back in. After that, we're going to send out a posse. Ollie and Rupert load up on sesame seeds, carrots, and water for their journey out into the wilderness. They didn't have the faintest idea of where to find Esau, Isa, and Jeremy, but they knew they had to keep searching. Rupert flies overhead, advising Ollie of the best direction in which to walk, and after searching all day long, they decide to camp in an abandoned olive grove at the foot of the Hebron Mountains. Rupert, we've been looking all day. This looks like a good place to rest for a while. Why don't we stop and spend the night right here? Okay, it's getting too dark for me to see anyway. Say, why don't we... Rupert! Rupert, help! You're biting me! I'm surrounded myself! Roll over and over! And I'll head for the stream! up there so high, you should have been able to spot them. Hey, look, this is silly arguing. We're safe. They must have left and gone to look for a meal somewhere else. But I say let's hightail it out of here before they decide to come back. <laughs> not only do we not have a clue as to where we are, I'm sure the bats won't be able to find us either. Let's settle down for the night. <laughs> Well, it looks as if so far you've all passed the test. Those bags of food look pretty appetizing. We don't usually eat dry food. Farmer John always fed us carrots. Sometimes honey roasted oats, too. Oh. What's wrong, Whipper? You look surprised. Never had a carrot? I've had carrots, but you make it sound like it's an everyday thing. It's been a long, long time since I ate any carrots. I almost forgot what they taste like. That's sad. You mean your hideout doesn't have carrots or oats? No. Wild donkeys don't know how to farm. All we ever did was work for people who did know how. Now they just... Hunt us down. I, last week, I... Yeah, what uh, happened last uh, week? Is there something you're not telling us? You made it sound so great like life was going to be wonderful. Are you saying it's not? It's not that bad. Better than being in a glue pot or having your hide tanned. Still, things are a little rough. It can't be that bad. No human telling you what to do? What about that? Yeah, but but no humans to love you either. Look, I didn't get into this thing on my own. Longfellow took me in one of their raids. Who would ever believe me? Come on, get real. You're a dead donkey when they know you steal. Couldn't we just... Go uh, back? Uh, no way. 
That's why Sinbad and Longfellow had to steal from Farmer John. He knew they'd put a posse out on you and a price on your head. That's how he's kept everyone loyal to him. If you ever cross him, why, he'll just make sure you get caught at the scene of a robbery and take the brunt for the whole thing. That's what I was trying to tell you. That's what happened to my friend Spooker. He was another young donkey like myself, only he spoke up. Said he didn't want to do any more robbing. Wanted to turn himself in and work on a farm someplace. Well, the next time we went on a raid, he didn't come back. Sinbad told me they locked him in a stall. Really? They just left him? Yeah, with a price on his head. Whipper, oh. bring those three fellows with you. We'll travel by the light of the moon. We'll travel by the light of the moon. In the day we'll sleep and at night we'll swoop. Down on unsuspecting bottles, drinking everything you spy. Wake up in the morning, they will all be crying. We'll travel, we'll travel. We'll travel, 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 we'll travel by the light of the moon. We'll travel, they will never find us. The light of the moon. Quick upon our feet While everyone's asleep They faster than a snake We'll travel Meanwhile, Ollie continued to search with Rupert for signs of his brothers. Four days had passed and they almost gave up hope finding them. Finally, one day they climbed high up in the mountains and decided to stay up late to see if they could find them running through the valley below. Ollie! Ollie, can you hear it? Hear what? I can barely keep my eyes open. Over there, silly! It's them! Listen! <gasps> You're right! Come on, let's go! Yeah. Ollie and Rupert head down the hill towards the valley where the donkey gang is busy stealing supplies from one of the unsuspecting valley farmers, Jonah Marood. What they don't know is that in the middle of the farm, Jonah has dug a pit with a false floor just waiting for them. And while they are busy carting off food, he is hoping they come a little closer. Now, son, you put the carrots around the edge of the pit like I asked you, didn't you? Yes, Father. I put over three bushels of them. That's a good boy. Boy, something sure smells good around here. I know. I've smelled that smell before. Well, it's coming from over there. It smells like, uh... Sinbad said to stay away from the house. Some people are really light sleepers. They could have a rope over your neck before you know it. But I know what you mean. There they are, Rupert. I'm going to catch them. It looks like they're going to steal those carrots. Go ahead. I'll see if I can spot an escape route. <laughs> Ollie! What are you doing here? Jehu gave me one week to get you guys to turn yourselves in. Otherwise, he's going to get a posse together, and they're going to bring you back dead or alive. Cut him down, son. <laughs> I've got this one tied up. Okay, all the way. Yeah, end of the bar. Ollie! Ollie! Ollie, where are you? Ollie! There's no way I'm going to find them. I'd better just head back and tell Jehu what happened. Maybe he'll have a better idea of what to do. Serves them right for getting caught. Willow was getting awfully careless. Yeah, shouldn't we go back and try and rescue them? What for? They're just another four mouths to feed. Besides, 
If we did, we'd have to split the spoils. This way, we've got more to ourselves. You got a point. Let's get out of here and cover our tracks. There's sure to be a bounty on us now. Back at the farm, the farmer and his son decide what to do with the donkey thieves. Dad, the Romans are looking for animals for the Gladiator Coliseum. Why don't we sell them in Caesarea? It would more than pay for the food the others got away with. Well, that's a little harsh, son. Those animals don't last very long there. Dad, these animals are bad. They don't deserve any better. Didn't you always say an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth? They were stealing. They deserve what's coming to them. Okay, son. If you think it's best to sell them to the Gladiator Circus, then go ahead. Make the arrangements. Little did Ali know he was being sold to the Roman Gladiator Circus, where grazing animals were put in the ring with wild animals who tormented and devoured them. Had he known, he would have been even more uncomfortable. That afternoon, the wagon pulled up to the farm to carry the donkeys to Caesarea. Now I left some food here for them. I don't want to see you starving these poor animals, even if they are thieves. Uh, don't worry! They'll be fattened up for the circus. It'll be quite exciting to see them in the ring with the lions and the hyenas. <laughs> see where your bad deeds have gotten us? I was only trying to help you get out of here. And now I'm being shipped to the Colosseum to be in the rings with the hyenas and lions. Eaten alive! It wasn't all my idea. I so thought it would be great. I'm sorry, really I am. They painted such a good picture of what it was going to be like being free. I can see now, it was all a lie. I know it seems pretty hopeless. Maybe Rupert will figure a way to get us out of here. If he doesn't, nobody's even going to know where we are. After several days of searching for Ollie and his brothers, Rupert returns to Bethany and finds Jehu. Ahoy there, Jehu! Rupert, you're back. But where's Ollie? Did you guys find his brothers? Ah, you look very worn out and hungry. Now hold on! Just one question at a time. I can't answer them all. Well, then just tell me where Ollie is. I can't. What do you mean you can't? You can if you want. 
No, I said I can't! I can't! Hmm. Is this some type of riddle? Because if it is... And that's the truth of it! I just don't know! Huh? I really, really don't! I wish I did, but I don't! Wow! What about his brothers? They're gone too! All without a trace! I was at this farmhouse and went off to do some scouting. Came back, they were gone! So I thought they'd hightailed it out of there. I tried to track them down and couldn't! I figured maybe they were back here! Well, I've got to tell Alondra I need to pack. Pack for what? Where are you going? Not me, we. We're both going to find Ollie. I just told you, I couldn't find him! Well, when you really need to find something, you go back to the start and search really, really hard. So let's go back to where you lost them and see if we can come up with any clues. Mm. Jehu and Rupert leave for the farm where Rupert last saw Ollie. Rawr. But miles away at the coast in the city of Caesarea, Ollie, Whipper, and Isa, Esau, and Jeremy are loaded on the boat for the Circus Maximus in Rome. Right next to them, Juana, a young elephant only six months old, sits in his pen crying because he misses his mom and dad. What's your name, young fellow? My name is Juana. I miss my mom and dad. I should have listened to them and not wandered off by myself. Now I don't even know how to get home. I'm Ollie. These are my brothers, and that's Whipper. I know things don't look good, but we've been in tough situations before. And God has always helped us through. Even when you were away from your mom and dad? Sure. I'm not saying I feel good about this situation. The last time I was on a boat, it sank and almost killed us. But here we are. I mean it. of it. Besides, we're going to a circus. It's gonna be fun. I mean, how bad could it be going to a circus? <laughs> what was that? It was a lion. I saw him. He has big, sharp teeth. When he bites you, it really hurts. My mom showed me your scar. They're shipping him to the same circus. <laughs> I don't know how you can be so cheery, Ollie. The purpose of the whole show is for him to chase us around the ring and try to eat us. Well, I'm smarter than any lion. And I, for one thing, am not going to be eaten. Really, little brother? And just how are you going to stop the lion from eating you? Simple. I'll tell him if he eats me, he's going to get the biggest stomach ache he ever had. Out the adores, quit your roaring. You'll be in Rome soon enough, and your roaring isn't going to help anyone get any sleep. So I suggest, unless you really want to go hungry, you keep the noise to a minimum. How did you know my favorite tune? I know what all birds like to sing. My best friend is a raven. You may have heard of him. 
Rupert the Renowned. Can't say that I have. Looks like you and your friends are in a predicament. How can I help you? Can you get a message out for me? Like a message in a bottle? I don't think I could carry a bottle. No. Just tell Rupert where we are, so Jehu could come and rescue us. Don't see why not. I've done some pretty important things in my time. circus in Rome and they want some old lion to eat us we're gonna need some help quick you got it sure I got it tell Rupert to meet you at the circus bye wait what a bird brain didn't even get the whole message well maybe Rupert will be able to figure it out wait it's back there silly Ollie doesn't have much faith in his communication system but decides to keep his hopes up Meanwhile, Jehu and Rupert have finally arrived at the farm where Ollie was last seen. Excuse me, I heard you were robbed by a donkey band the other night. Is that true? Yes, it's true. But this time, I was ready for them. See that net? Well, I caught five of them. They'll never rob anybody again. Was one a real small white one? As a matter of fact, yes there was. He didn't look like much of a renegade, but I caught him with all the others. Why are you so curious? That was Donkey Ollie! Ollie, does it sound familiar? Why? Should I have heard of him? He gave Jesus his ride into Jerusalem and rescued uh -huh. Paul from Damascus. Of course he wouldn't know unless he were a Hebrew. What did you do with them? The thieves? Why, well, I sent them to the circus. The oh. circus? They're going to the circus, the Colosseum in Rome. Chased around the ring, chewed down to the bone. They're gonna be sorry. A thing or two. They'll never steal from me again or break the golden rule. They're gonna be sorry. No, oh, they're gonna be sad. They're gonna all tear and die. They are all very bad. So, so bad. So, so bad. So, 
Jehu and Rupert head as fast as they can for the seaport in Caesarea. By the time they arrive, they realize that they have missed the boat by two days. Do you know who Rupert the Renowned is? Who wants to know? I've got a message for him, from Ollie. You're talking to Rupert right now. You're Rupert? Huh? You're a pretty funny looking raven. No, he meant me. Ollie gave you a message? Yeah. He said to tell you he needs help. Something about the circus. He's not that far away. You want me to take you there? No, you go ahead and tell him I'll try and figure out some way to help him. Tell Ollie to hang in there. I'll be along. See ya! Here we go! Yeah! 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 Well, Rupert, old boy, do you think you can make it? I've done some flying, but you really fly! All that's underneath us is water! Are we ever going to get some rest? Well, my feathers are designed for floating, but who knows? You could sink like a rock! Huh? Hey, you're saved! There's a board! Let's just put down over there. You better move quickly! Why didn't you tell me we were shark bait? That was a close call! Thelonius the lion decided in the middle of the night he was hungry, and being used to having his own way, decided to give out a great big roar. bigger trouble than I'm already in now. You're braver than I could ever be, Ollie. Ollie? Ahoy! Ahoy down there! Anybody got any sesame seeds? It's a long way out here! Rupert, how did you find us out here in the middle of the sea? Well, I didn't do it myself, I had some help. Smooth Feather, he knew these parts pretty well, and boy can he see. He saw the ship miles ago. I'm gonna talk to this lion. He keeps roaring and scaring us all to death. You know they're planning on putting us in the circus in Rome? Circus? That sounds like fun. They need any birds? This is the kind of circus where people come to watch animals get eaten. I don't think it's going to be too much fun. Come any closer and I'll eat you. I'll jump right through these bars. Go ahead and try. You're too slow to catch me. <laughs> Quit teasing him. He's just bluffing. If he could have gotten out of there, he would have a long time ago and eaten us all. You don't seem like you really care. I bet you miss home just like we do. You're probably even seasick. How did you know? They trapped me after my mate and I had a whole litter of cubs. I won't even get to see them grow up and train them how to hunt. How 
How come you're so nice to me? I'm probably gonna be the one that eats you. Why should I worry about it? You're not eating me now. Besides, I've never even met a lion like you. So big and brave. I bet you could scare anybody about half to death. I'm the king of the jungle. I'm ferocious as they come. When you hear my roaring voice, everybody better run. I'm not afraid of hyena. They just make me laugh. I'm the king of the jungle. And it's time to get down that grass. I can scare the skin out of an elephant. Frighten your ass with one growl. When I roar, the jungle comes to life. I'm the king of the jungle right now. As they come When you hear my roaring voice Everybody better run I'm not afraid of hyena They just make me laugh I'm the king of the jungle And I stomp you down like grass King of the jungle And I stomp you down like grass King of the jungle And I stomp you down like grass I roll so loud Monkeys fall from teeth Send shivers down every spine when I run through the bush, you better look out Or you'd be my guest to die And you taste so very fine I'm the king of the jungle I'm ferocious as they come When you hear my roaring voice Everybody better run I'm not afraid of hyenas Well, they just make me laugh I'm the king of the jungle And I'm stomping Aren't you afraid of me? <sighs> no, not even a little bit. My friend, God is much more powerful than you. I'm not scared one bit. Not even a little? <clears throat> well, I am, but you're way too slow. You're not really planning on eating my friends, are you? I've got a big appetite. And besides, your friends are pretty tasty. He'd probably be a good stomach full. <laughs> I'll tell you what. How's about we make a deal? A deal? What's a deal? You know, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. We both win. How's about that? What kind of deal? You want to go home, don't you? Yes. <sighs> what do you ask? <sighs> Well, Ollie and I have been a lot of places. We could get you home to see your cubs. That is, if you cooperate. You could. You bet we could. We know how to pray. And I've been in worse jams than this before. Why, one time we were almost eaten by a giant octopus. Okay, I'll make a deal. What is it? You don't eat any of our friends, and we'll get you home. But what if I get hungry? Then you get hungry. Is it a deal? Okay, you've got it. But they probably won't like it. These people expect me to eat everybody. That's what the show's all about. Well, don't worry about that. We'll find a way to make them think you're eating us. Okay? Ollie went back to his brothers and friends and told them all about the deal that Rupert had made with Thelonious. They were all so much happier knowing that they weren't going to be eaten. Miles away, Jehu had finally managed uh, to secure passage uh, hey. as a ship's helper on a boat bound for Rome. After he boarded the boat, he found out it made several stops and would be weeks before he'd be able to find Ali. He worried about them all, but trusted that God would bring them there in time to save his friends. Ahoy there! <laughs> Welcome to the seaport of Anzio! The gateway to Rome! Well, Ollie, I guess we got ourselves in a real big mess this time. You think God can help us up? We messed up pretty bad. I don't see why not. Everybody makes mistakes. And if you're sorry for them, then I'm sure God will help you. I, for one, am not too worried. Well, you already made a deal with that lion. What about us? The deal was for all of you! 
Well, there's a lot of other animals to worry about, too, besides that big cat. <laughs> Look! There's the three hyenas we've been hearing about all trip! Show no mercy if you fall into our jaws. If you try to fight us, we'll rip you with our paws. If they put you in the ring with us, we'll have you all for lunch. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. You look awfully small to me. Yeah? I bet you can't fly like this! <laughs> plan between you and our new lion. We'll see how long you last. <laughs> You're all wet. My Uncle Hannibal will let you have it good. Where is he? He's up there in the circus. He's been in it for years. He's too big for any of them to get him. They tried. They clawed his ears and bitten his toes. But my uncle, though he's slow, always beats his foes. There's a legend in the jungle about a giant beast. Into the human world to face the wild beasts. He's astonished all his captors, defeated every foe. 
When everyone is fast asleep, he stays up on his toes. He's Hannibal, great greater than them all. He's Hannibal, great, you can't make him fall. They feed him by the bushel, 40 every day. His quarters are magnificent, they overlook the bay. He's taken on the greatest, he's crushed them under his feet. He bears the skies of many fights, he's never known defeat. He's Hannibal the Great, greater than them all. Oh, oh. He's Hannibal the Great, you can't make him fall. No way, no how. You're not going to make him fall. He's Hannibal. He's the greatest. The greatest of them all. Oh. He's Hannibal, the great, greater than them all. Hannibal, the great, greater than them all. about. Why, Thelonious swore that he would not hurt anyone, and I sure hope Rupert's got a plan to get us out of this mess. Boy, am I ever sorry I got in with the wrong crowd. Those hyenas sure look mean. I've never seen teeth so sharp. Wait till my Uncle Hannibal gets you. I don't think that's very smart, infuriating them like that. We're supposed to love our enemies. Not do mean things to them. We can love our enemies, live our life with sympathy. When treated bad, we should do good. Let them know they're understood. When we're wronged, we must do right. Turn our cheek when in a fight. The power of love will always save us We live the life that Jesus gave us We can love our enemies We can love our enemies Cause it's not easy doing right When you've been hurt, you want to fight Love your enemies You've got to love your enemies Miles away, Jehu was wondering if he'd ever get to them on time. The ship he was on continued to make stop after stop, taking on new cargo. It would still be another week before he would arrive in Italy. The crowd gathered for the circus, anxious to see the new animals that had been brought up from Africa and throughout Europe. Hannibal had remained undefeated and continued to provide amusement. Emperor Nero sat with Agrippa from Palestine, and they decided to take bets. Well, our Hannibal has never been defeated. I doubt if that pack of jackals or the wild black bear will ever be able to do the job. He's big, but he's not quick. Look! They're bringing in some donkeys from my domain. How appropriate. I've heard that one donkey's known to speak. Tell me if it's one of these. And if it is, I should like to hear from myself. Marius, make sure the muscles are off those donkeys and direct them over here. I should like to ask for myself. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 
I've heard that one of your kind speaks. If so, speak now, and I shall give you your choice of which wild animal to face. Say something, Ollie. They can only understand you. It is true. I speak. Well, not only a prophet who claims he's risen from the dead, but now an animal who really does speak. You will have your choice of who you and your friends would like to face in the ring. What would it be, young one? The hyenas? The tigers? The king of the jungle? Well, most noble emperor, although you think you decide our fate, our fate is in the hands of a much greater power than you, Emperor mm -hmm. of Rome. It is true, although I appear to be a dumb animal, yet even I know it is no sport to watch the suffering of the innocent. Someday, the blood you spill, you will have to give an account for it, to a power much higher than you. You speak like a follower of Jesus, and what could you know of him? I was the one who carried him to Jerusalem, and to his grave after he was unjustly put to death. And now, yes, you hear me speak, but I tell you, his witnesses shall be heard throughout this earth and replace the wickedness man does to man with love and charity. What? You dare contradict me, the emperor? Bow down and swear allegiance to me, or you will face Thelonious and be ripped to shreds. Worship me, and I shall let you live. Very well. Remove the other donkeys. You shall face Thelonious by himself. And if you live, you will be free. See what your god says. Ollie wasn't sure whether or not Thelonious was going to keep the deal that Rupert had made with him. He knew that it had been days since they had fed him. He ran around the ring, kicked his knees up in the air, showing the crowd he wasn't afraid. quite obvious that he had no intention of keeping his deal. His appetite overrode any promise he had made. Although small, Ollie was in excellent shape, and his courage was immeasurable. As Thelonious charged him, he had an idea. The audience was ecstatic. Never before had they seen a contest so unevenly matched. Never before had a lion been unable to bring down such a small prey at the first attack. My friend can't last in there much longer, Hannibal. You've got to help him. You're not afraid of that beast, are you? No, but it's hardly my place to risk my life to help a donkey, although he spoke nobly. I'm sorry to have to do this, Hannibal. But your chains are off, and you have to crash through that gate and help my friend! Stop that! Get off! King of the jungle. No one else. I'm the king of the circus. Well, let in the hyenas. We'll see who lives and who dies. So they caught you as well. Say back, nephew. I'll have to finish off this no, beast. No, the crowd watches as Ollie goes over to Thelonious lying wounded on his side. He begins to lick his wounds and talks to him. Get up, Thelonious! The hyenas are coming! I can't save you, you gotta get up! Please! Move aside, little donkey. We have a taste for jungle meat. There is no need to shed your blood. You would devour the weak, the wounded? You would... It is the law of the jungle. There's a higher law. If you would take him, you must fight me. Ollie, are you crazy? There's seven of them! They'll rip you to shreds! Save yourself while you have a chance! You heard Nero, he said you would go free! Freedom? 
At what price, Rupert? The death of our friends? <laughs> the crowd goes crazy. Never had they seen animals come to the rescue of other animals. Nero was furious. The bloodshed and horror he had wanted to see were replaced with compassion. The keepers come out and remove most of the unconscious hyenas off the grounds. A cart was brought out and Thelonious' body was taken to the infirmary. Well, I promise to let you live, but you shall not go free. The crowd loves you too much. Yes, young friend. We'll see how many predators you will defeat. I say you're not a donkey, but a warrior who's been bewitched. I am but a donkey. If I seem to be a warrior, it is because my heart has been transformed, as I wish yours would be. I ask your permission, Emperor, to be dismissed so that I may look after my friend, Thelonious. You call him a friend? Even after he tried to kill you? Is it not true that you starved him to death to make him more dangerous? How can I blame him? He was only acting on his own instincts. Feed him well and see how many helpless victims he destroys then. I will not rest until I see this mockery of a circus destroyed. Did you not know that God made you the caretaker of his kingdom? Not a destroyer. And yet, look, even now, you are disappointed that we did not even destroy one another. It is really sad. Even the Pharaoh saw the error of his way, Caesar. Can't you see the writings on the wall? Got a story to tell. disappears, talking about what a sensational show it was. Thelonious takes several days to recover. Are you awake? <sighs> Some king of the jungle I am. I never met an elephant like Hannibal. <sighs> I'm lucky to be alive. <sighs> well, Nero has some worse things planned for you next week. I've been speaking to everyone. It's time to make our move. Our move? What do you have in mind? An escape? How are we gonna get back? Swim? No, we'll go back by boat. Just like the way we came. 
Here's how we're going to do it. While Ollie was telling Thelonious the plans he had made, Jehu's ship docks. He borrows a horse and rides up to find Ollie. I'm looking for the Circus Maximus. Can you help me? Sure, but you've already missed the show. Huh? The next one won't be until next month. Very left, once you get over that hill... Tell you what, go ahead and cut through my vineyard. And cut through Nero's vineyard. His place is right alongside the Colosseum. By the way, where'd you get that medal? The Pharaoh of Egypt, Ramses. Well, be careful when riding through Nero's estate. You never know what type of animal's running about. Legionare. By Nero's orders, you are under arrest for poaching. Come peacefully. Indeed. I will come. I will welcome a chance to explain. I was not... Save your explanation. Hey! Hail Caesar! We have brought the poacher. Will you not kneel before your god and emperor, young poacher? I kneel before no man, just the Lord Jehovah. I was not poaching, Emperor Nero. Your leopard attacked my horse. I merely defended him. What is that medal you wear around your neck? I come in peace, fair Nero. The medal I won in a chariot race in Egypt. I come to rescue my animals from slaughter in your circus. Does one of your animals talk and sing and call himself Ollie? Yes. Have you news of him? Is he alive? Yes. The cursed animal is alive. He made a mockery of the entire circus, convincing the animals not to devour one another. The other donkeys, are they alive as well? Yes, they as well. What have you to say about the charge against you? Your Majesty, your animal shall live. Have your physicians examine him. I can kill a black bear from 50 paces and a lion from 100. I did not throw a sufficient force to kill him, only to knock him unconscious. Very well then, young Israelite. Kneel before me and swear allegiance to me as your god, and you shall go free, as well as your animals. Very well. You have chosen your own death. You shall face the lion in the circus, and your little donkey <gasps> shall face them too. Cursed Christians with a holy god, let your Jesus save you, even if he can hear you. Gods, take this one what? away. Jehu, so full of hope about rescuing Ali and his brothers, found himself in the Roman animal cages, with nothing to lie on but bare floor. I'm a free bird. A free bird now. Yes, I am. Rupert. I'm a free bird. Rupert, over here! Uh, Jehu, how did you even, uh, oh, oh, well, don't even try to explain. I thought you were getting the escape vessel ready for everybody. Nero threw me in here. Well, you're in the same boat with the rest of them. Rawr! No, worse, Nero sentenced me to fight the lions in the Colosseum. That does sound bad. If only Alondra knew, I wouldn't even be able to kiss her goodbye. I wish there was some way to let her know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rock! Smooth Feather! I need a favor! Do you think you can give this note to Alondra in Bethany? That's a long way back. Is it that important? Yes! She may never get to see Jehu again! Nero has sentenced him to, to face the lions in the Colosseum at the end of the month! She's going to have to come quick! If she ever wants to see him again, I'll do it for you because you're my friend. I'll do it just for you. Bye-bye. Smooth Feather found a westerly wind that carried him to Israel in no time. He found Alondra in the middle of a dinner with the important people of Israel who had gathered to welcome her cousin, the Pharaoh of Egypt. Alondra left the table to get some fresh air after the meal. Well, hi. How are you, little fella? You look like you've come a long way. I'm looking for Alondra. I have an important note for her. 
A note? <laughs> this just looks like chicken scratch. Well, who wrote it? Rupert, he told me to give it to you. What's wrong? Did Jehu find Ollie? Is everything okay? Rupert said if he didn't come right away, you may never get to see Jehu again. He's supposed to face the lions in the Colosseum. Alondra, Alondra, come back in. The guests are wondering where my beautiful cousin is hiding herself. What's wrong? You're crying. It's a note from Rupert. Jehu's in trouble and I need to go right away. How am I ever going to get to Rome? They're putting him in the Colosseum to face the lions. This note? Th this note is just chicken scratch. Who are you? Smooth Feather. Rupert gave me the note. Jehu is in trouble. Can you show us where we need to go? Mm-hmm. I have a royal craft right there in the harbor, my beautiful cousin. I would be happy to take you. The Pharaoh's ship sailed to Rome, aided by the oarsmen and guided by Smooth Feather. We're on our way! Jehu was outfitted with a new suit of clothing for the circus, where he would battle the lions. Luisha was given the job of crafting protective leather armor for Ali and his brothers for their fight against the hyenas. Is that too tight, Ali? No. Just make sure my stomach's covered up. Those hyenas have sharp teeth. You're the first animal I've ever known that could talk. Aren't you even a little afraid of that pack of hyenas? A donkey has never faced a wild animal like that before and lived. What good does it do to be afraid? I've got to face them anyway. I might as well be brave. Jehu, I see they've outfitted you as well. Well, Ollie, tomorrow might be our last day. I heard they haven't fed the lions or hyenas all week. I'll sure miss you, Ollie. I just wanted to let you know you're the best donkey a fellow could ever hope to meet. I'll miss you too, Jehu. I'll wait for you in heaven Where tears will pass away Walk upon the golden streets And play beside the lake I'll wait for you in heaven Where precious Jesus is Upon the throne So far to heaven, just close your eyes. Sometimes I feel it, it warms me inside. It's not so far to heaven, it's not so far. Jehu, you just practice your sling. You're the first person Nero has ever put into the ring to face the lions. They had to put in more seats. Make way for the Emperor Caesar Nero, ruler pontificate of the universe! Well, <gasps> what is the name of this one? Uh, Thelonious, your majesty. Has he eaten anything? He seems very weak. Where are the other lions? There are four others in the other pen. None have been fed as your instructions. And the hyenas? Are they famished as well? Yes, your Good. majesty. Good! For tomorrow they will taste the blood of that oh, insolent uh, Christian uh, Hebrew uh, and his singing uh, donkey. Uh. I shall relish every drop of blood they spill. Make sure uh. they get no food. Ali, Whipper, Isa, Jeremy, Esau, and Jehu 
gather together to pray for their safety and for God's mercy. Unknown to them, Rupert had arranged for his seagull friends to airlift food there she blows. and drop it into the cages of lions and hyenas. Hey, what's up? Rupert, where have you been? We go into the ring today. Have you forgotten? Did Hannibal say he'd help us? Hmm, I don't know if we'll need him. The hyenas and lions aren't going to be too hungry. We heard the slave boys say they haven't fed them in a week. They haven't, but I did. They had their own three-course meal. There go the waiters now. Bye. See you soon. Seagulls? How'd you do it? So, where are we going? Anybody? A anybody? <laughs> About Ramses. He's on his way right now with your wife, Alondra. They should be here in time for the games. Actually, they should get here in plenty of time because the games are going to be late. How do you know that? Rah, oh, easy. I stole their keys to all the cages. Huh? It'll take them hours to pick all the locks and get the animals out. Rah, bye. With the keys gone, the crowd in the Coliseum grew restless. They watched the ostrich race, they enjoyed the loot players and the jugglers, and they watched the wrestling matches between the slaves. But nothing could satisfy their bloodlust. They were there to see the innocent animals and Jehu be torn to shreds. Finally, late in the day, the keepers managed to get all the cages open and brought in the lions. Hero motion for the crowd to be quiet. Roman citizens, today you will see an insolent Hebrew Christian fight these lions. He says he's not afraid and acknowledges no God but Jesus, son of Jehovah. I say his blood will be avenged for the disrespect he's shown me. Emperor, am I to be allowed to use my sling against five of these ferocious beasts? <laughs> or am I expected to bow with a sharp claws with my bare hands? Nero was furious. Never before had he even made such a fool. In the name of the Lord God of Israel, stand your ground, Roman. Let the hyenas in! <laughs> Have you nothing greater, noble Nero? Gotta shut the mouths of the wild beasts. Your Majesty, in our harbor is the Pharaoh's vessel from Egypt. Ramses, grandson of Mark Anthony and Cleopatra. They're on their way here.
Very well. They shall live. They shall return with you. The animals as well. Very well. The animals. Yes, all of them. God did not make them to be sacrifices to sport for your amusement. They are meant to be loved and cared for. You're a disgrace of the human race, Nero. Follow me to Africa. The animals parade around the ring and sing as the crowd cheers them on. They march out in single file to the pharaoh's boat waiting in the harbor. We're all going back to our homes To our family and our friends We're going home again We're all going back to our homes To our family and our friends Forgive us for our sins We promise never to steal again And to work 100% We're all going back to our homes To our family and our friends We're going home again We're all Our family and our friends We're going home We're going home We're going home Can I get a round of shot? Please! Tell me, tell me, tell me Tell me, tell me, tell me
got reasons to 